Hello, welcome to the Wise Cafe. It's been a minute since I've done a video. Um, and like, that's the, uh, let me turn this around. This is my onk, my appendix that I got. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's been a minute since I've done a video. Um, I guess this would just be like a venting one um, to that nature. Um, and again, I don't classify myself as a target individual. I'm pretty much more empowered um, individual because, as we all know, um, you know how this program works and why we're we're. I don't want to say why we're in it, but the, the type of people that they go after um, to like gang stalk and street data and all that kind of stuff. And I don't focus on that stuff. Um, like that um, I mean I, I, I know it's they're there I know they do what they do because they have a job to do because they want to get that gift card or they want to get whatever they give them I don't even care what they're giving them because I mean it is what it is so um, to the ones out there who you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel or you just don't don't understand why they would do do this to you or even put you in this like situation like don't just don't don't focus on it um you just have to keep moving on because that's that's what i do i just even when i'm out there in that matrix i just push through like anybody get in my way you're gonna get knocked down like because here's what they do because i'm gonna say this if you go back and check i think one of my earlier videos that i did where i spoke about where they actually tried to get me to sign myself into a mental institution without what undermining me like oh we're trying to help you get an apartment we're trying to do this trying to do that but if you're trying to do that why every in every paragraph it was like psychiatric this mental health this then the guy tells me oh we need to evaluate you like evaluate me for what i'm a grown-ass man you don't need to evaluate me you don't need to monitor me you don't need to do none of that yeah and and like y'all do that enough yeah follow me everywhere even like for his work when i go to work i take um car service their the car services people is perp and all that like i just know i see it like even when i'm walking on the street like i could be walking down a block and somebody just come from it could be the left or the right whichever side that i'm on and try to cut me off that's what they've been doing to me a lot lately like trying to cut me off trying to i don't know they just i mean i'm just i'm a strong person i i meditate a lot i go to yoga um i just it, got in tune with self like um i'm a strong person so that stuff it don't get to me like how it was in the beginning because i didn't understand i didn't know why i'm just i mean it's all, almost to the point where i just like really i get you say had like had a nervous breakdown but i pulled myself together and i just like you know what i'm gonna fight this thing it's almost like you're a soldier for god so you you have to fight like if you don't like then like i don't know it's just like giving up um and sometimes i often wonder about when i hear people like like committing suicide or anything to that nature like i wonder if not not saying that they were empowered individual they could be they could not be but i often think about that like what if that person was like because that's pretty much what they try to do try to break you down to, to so much where you you get under pressure and you just do something crazy or spaz out or just 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 lose it like and i mean that that'll never that'll never get to me because i have too much going on for myself and i'm just just and and I know who who fights my battle and I know who protected me and I know who has me covered because that's why they go through the just go through the I don't want to say I mean they go through so much stuff to try to get to me just try to distract me like even one day I was at work I was walking walking down the, the hall and I'm just walking and all of a sudden somebody just comes out of a door and literally just stands in my path just stands there so I moves over and walk straight because that's how I, I'm very and you have to be very alert and I'm very well I'm a cautious guy so I, I seize everything around me even though I don't focus on that street date and perp stuff anymore so I can know like if I'm walking down the street I can automatically tell which person is going to try to cut me off which person is going to try to come across so I just move around them or if I bump into them I bump and I make sure to let them know like I, I bet you won't stand in front of nobody else then you got the ones that walking with the dogs like I mean I get I know people walk the dogs but mm -mm. you walking the dog and here's the thing like the a block that I live on 
like if I go to the store in the morning time, there's there's always this lady who's walking this little gray, little little dog. Well, not little dog. It's like a, I don't know if it's a pit bull or what kind of dog it is. I mean, I'm not into dogs like that. So she's walking the dog. Like if I'm coming from the store, if I'm leaving out of the house. Well, no, she does it a lot when I'm coming from the store. So I'm coming from the store. She tries to wait till I pass her. Like one day I'm just, like I'm playing with my phone just, and I see her. I'm trying to walk slow as I can. This lady just stops and she started doing it and she takes out her phone and just throw it. And then that's little stuff that they do. Whatever you're doing, they try to mock you. But <laughs> these people are crazy. They are crazy. And, and I get it. They use the lowest of the low. Like, um, and there's this situation that, I mean, I'm in now, like, and me as a, I mean, I have a good heart and my heart get me into a lot of situations. So somebody I'm, I was trying to help out um, and it kind of put me in to be the victim, which maybe he might have been a handler. It could be a perp, which I know that uh, he pretty much are. But I mean, I came to do this video because like I said, I don't do these. I don't focus on doing these videos anymore. Like I haven't. I can't tell you the last time I had posted a, a YouTube video, but I think this might be the first one I did this year. Um, yeah, it pretty much is the one I did, the first one I did this year. Um, I mean, I often come to come to YouTube. I still watch you guys' videos. A lot of you, uh, Nappy Headed Roots, um, this girl, well, I don't call her a girl, this woman, queen. Um, I forgot, oh, I, got, I forgot how I handled it. I think it's something like Chosen One or something to that nature. Like, there's a lot of you guys that I watch. Um, and then this other one that I just watched, I love her. Like, she's so hype and she just, she goes in a lot. Like, I think she's recently just started doing videos and I forgot her name. I just watched her videos last night. Um, I think her name is Lakeisha something. Um, I, I love watching her videos. Like, it's, she, her and the other girl, the Chosen One, because the Chosen One girl, she, why do I keep saying girl? Women. These are women. Women. When she said she went to a concert and she just enjoyed herself. And that's what I do now. I go I go out. I Wherever I'm going to meditate, I still do. Like, you got to live your life because that's what they want to do. They try to distract your life and make your life miserable as hell. Um, but that's it. It is what it is. So, um, like I said, I didn't want to make this long. Just pretty much like a venting one. Oh, I wanted to. I just came in from grabbing me some food. Let me, I'm going to share this and then I'm going to end this video. So I go to the restaurant to get some food. I mean, I, you see them. They put the food in there. So I'm not worried about them putting anything in the food. So I ordered a drink and then the guy didn't. Some, then somebody walks in behind me. Because that's what they do. Whenever you go into a place, instantly somebody. Because they, they're out there waiting for you. They're always watching you. So a man comes in, I'm sure he's sick of them or whatever. So the guy getting ready to make the drink. And all of a sudden the girl comes up to where the drink fountain was and have, she wasn't making the drink for nobody or anybody. And the guy started making the drink. So the guy looks at me and she looks at me. They give me this look, look like I already knew what was up. So I threw the drink in the trash. Like you won't get me like, I mean, cause they are, I'm sure they already didn't done it before, but you won't get me like that again. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. And it, that's it. I, I didn't have much to say on here um, because, I mean, if I pretty much stuff that I already said in, 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 in some of my videos. So I don't even have to say you can just go back and look at some of those videos. Like, make it they still do their street, street theater stuff and all that kind of stuff. They they just follow you around. Like, it is what it is. Like, and then the thing I get is they could be, like, on their phone. They look up at you, look down. It's, it's crazy. Like, then they doing, like, these are some of the sickness that they do. Then... I, I I don't get it. I just don't under. That's something I'll never understand. But we already know who it's run by. Um, I'm I don't believe in that Illuminati stuff. But this this is a Freemason thing. It is what it is. Even and when I go home, like some of the people I even went to high school is like getting stuck in the purple me. But it is what it is. Um, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna end this and get here and eat my little food and I'm gonna lay back and chill and enjoy the rest of my day. I went to yoga this morning. Um, yeah, and it was a great time, but they was in there perping and getting something because they I have to say this I mean the girl that ended up in right in front of me because you know how yoga I don't know how if you go to yoga but some of the studios are set up like there's a person in front of you or behind you but I always get to the wall where nobody is behind me so the girl is in front of me and every time because you see the person feet this girl feet was just like she walks bare feet without no shoes I mean like and, and I know this was already orchestrated like and I just 
it was in the beginning the store distracted me because I'm I'm like looking around just I had to, I just couldn't like look at her feet because they were just so disgusting. But I made it through yoga. It was the it was amazing. And today it's just a great day. Like y'all like my hat. Um I've been looking for one of these hats for a long time. But again, um I don't have much to say, but I mean, I, and I and I every so often I'll come back and do videos, but I mean, to all the empowered people out there, I mean, you have to look at it. They're following you. They're trying to um, cause chaos in your life. So, if somebody is following you and trying to do these things, I mean, you got to look at it. You the you the shit. So, excuse my language, but you are the shit. You got to know that. You, I mean, who else would be take time out of there? I mean, they don't have anything going on. They're probably miserable, lonely, and got a life. To be following up somebody around trying to cause all this disru disrupt disruptive chaos and all this crazy stuff into their life so i mean just hold your head up high keep that smile on your face keep it going and just just do you live your life to the fullest that's it um i'm done i don't have anything else to say um because i'm about to get ready to eat my food so as always love light energy peace and blessing keep your light shining